A quieter arrival at the station, the new state-of-the-art trains are the latest step of the project building up to the opening of the Elizabeth Line. With the number of people living in Redbridge, Barking and Dagenham and Havering set to increase, it's a key part of the infrastructure that will help commuters in the area. In due course, we'll be running through trains straight into London without the need for people to change at Liverpool Street. And that will hugely speed up the ability for people to get from uh, the east of the city, that area of huge growth and opportunity that the city sees, right through into the heart of the West End, uh, the city, uh, Heathrow and beyond. The Elizabeth Line will open in stages, with 11 new trains being introduced by the autumn. In May 2019, the service will run through a new tunnel direct to Paddington and then on to Heathrow Airport and Reading in December and there are a number of new exciting features on the trains. Bigger trains, more capacity, air conditioned, better information, easier to get on and off. So a load of benefits in the short term and in the long term more trains, 12 trains an hour from every station on the line uh, heading out and going straight through into central London. So a one seat journey if you like the whole way through into the centre. The new trains feature customer information posters made by students at Barking and Dagenham College and Redbridge College. <laughs> But what do passengers think? Um, actually, at the moment, I'm thinking it's really, really good. Um, look, it's really nice, and also it's more spacious. And I like in the uh, air conditioning, <laughs> especially in the heat at the moment. This new design looks cool. Uh, the air quality is good, and the colours. I like the colour. The new trains are able to carry 1,500 passengers and are 200 metres in length. A very, very long walk. It's only running between Shenfield and Liverpool Street initially, but when the full route is open, it will increase London's rail capacity by 10% and will serve over half a million passengers each day on their way to and from work.